In the history of World War II, there is a unique case where two civilians from the USSR were awarded the rank of officers of the Order of the British Empire. These were the captain and the first mate of the ship, Old Bolshevik, a civilian transport that participated in the Arctic convoy PQ-16. The ship departed from Boston, USA, with a cargo of 4,000 tons of Aminal explosives and A-20 Boston bombers. The crew consisted of 54 people, about half of whom were women. In mid-May 1942, the ship arrived in Iceland to join the PQ-16 convoy. The old Bolshevik was an old Soviet lumber carrier. The PQ-16 convoy was escorted by British and American warships to the rendezvous point in the Barents Sea, where the protection was taken over by Soviet Northern Fleet warships. This ship was specifically guarded by the British Royal Navy destroyer HMS Martin. During the convoy, the ship repelled 47 attacks from both submarines and German aircraft. Among those who distinguished themselves was the ship's helmsman, who twice managed to evade torpedo attacks, as well as women from the crew who, during a severe fire, bore the brunt of the German aircraft attacks and repelled all assaults by firing Erlikon anti-aircraft guns and Maxim machine guns. At the height of a critical crisis, when the ship was engulfed in flames after being hit by a bomb, the convoy leadership decided to evacuate the crew and scuttle the ship to prevent it from posing a danger to other vessels in case of an explosion. However, the crew of the old Bolshevik, after transferring the wounded to HMS Martin, refused to abandon the ship and continued to fight for its survival. They extinguished the fire on their own, restarted the engine, repelled air attacks, and eventually caught up with the convoy. On May 30th, 1942, the ship arrived in the port of Murmansk with the convoy. The crew's courage lay primarily in their ability to save the cargo and their refusal to fear death. If the 4,000 tons of explosives had detonated, the ship and its crew would have simply evaporated. For their outstanding actions, the captain and his first mate were awarded the officers of the Order of the British Empire. In addition, the captain, first mate, and helmsman were honored as heroes of the Soviet Union.